Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Mommy Wonders. Today we're going to make banana flour chutney. So the first thing that we do is we remove the florets from the purple petals. Please remember that we need to take out two things from each floret. One looks like a matchstick and the other is a white transparent petal. Once this is done, we will wash it thoroughly and keep it aside. Here I have taken two potatoes and these are already washed and peeled and uh, this will go for boiling along with the florets. I have also added the center white part of the banana which is also called as banana heart flower. It does not require any cleaning except washing and can be used as it is. I will now leave it on medium flame and wait for two whistles. Meanwhile, we will keep the other ingredients ready. First, I have ginger. Then we have green chilies. These are some dry red chilies and one onion, few fresh garlic cloves. I'm going to slice the onion like so and slit the green chilies. Soak the dried red chili in hot water. Now we can add the roughly chopped ginger and garlic and along with that we will also add the dried red chilies that were soaked in the hot water. We will make a paste out of it and it will look like so. Here I have some black sesame powder. After two whistles, we can open it and we can drain out the water. Don't forget to squeeze out the remaining water. Also guys, I'm using just one hand to squeeze out the remaining water and that's because I'm using the other hand to shoot this video. Do excuse me if the video is a bit shaky because there was no one around me so I had to shoot it myself. Once this is done, we will now roughly chop all of it. Did you know the health benefits of banana flour guys? Well, let me help you out. It controls diabetes, also helps in kidney function, improves lactation and reduces anxiety. Also, it is very effective in treating infections in natural ways. Now we are ready to make the chutney. Put some mustard oil in a pan and let it heat. Once the oil is ready, let's put in some sliced onions. Once the onions have turned golden brown, we can add some turmeric powder. Now we can add ginger garlic and the red chilli paste that we had made earlier. Let this cook for a while. Now I'm going to add the black sesame seed powder and give it a nice stir. Once it's mixed properly, we can now add salt. Now is the right time to put in the boiled potatoes. 
you can totally skip this step if you don't like potatoes. Once you have mixed them well, you can now add the chopped florets. Continue stirring so it doesn't stick to the pan. After it's nicely mixed, we'll now add the slitted chilies. For the last step, I have used half lemon and I have squeezed out the juice and I'm adding the lemon juice just over it like so and we're going to mix it nicely and we're going to take it off the flame. Isn't it mouth watering? There are many ways to cook banana flour but this is one of my favorite and I thought I had to share it with you guys. So please let me know in the comment section if you like this one and uh, if you would like similar recipes. I do share a lot of recipes on this channel so if you haven't checked it please go to my playlist and check those recipes. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updated whenever I post new videos. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Yes, thank you for watching this video and uh, I will be coming up with more videos. So don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.